And remember, you were expecting the answer to be less than L over 2. You see? So the kappa cancels again. We integrate that. You get what? 2L x, the integral of that is x squared over 2, minus x squared, the integral of that is x cubed over 3. The integral of this is 2LX minus x squared over 2, 0 to L. And again, remember, our final answer should be something times L. It shouldn't be L squared or L cubed or anything, you know. <clears throat> so put the L in, we get what? 2, 2 cancel, L cubed minus L cubed over 3 divided by 2L squared minus L squared over 2. It's beautiful how it works out, okay? I'm sure it's going to come out what we expected. It's going to come out here 2 thirds L cubed over 4 minus uh, 1, 3 L squared over 2. L squared, L cubed cancels. You're left with 1 L. And you're left here with uh, 4 over 9. L, you see? So it's to the left of halfway mark. It's 0 0.44, 0 0.44444 L. So you got the idea. So that's one case where the, the, we get the center of mass. Now, remember that I told you the other time the, the finger rule for experimentally doing this. If I want to experimentally find out the center of mass, I bring my fingers together and the friction in the ruler will prevent it from tipping. And the finger will end up at the center of mass. So for uniform rod, it's the center, you see? So even if you try to hold one finger and just bring the other, I'm trying to hold that now. Stay. You won't, you see? It always works. <laughs> it always works, OK? Now, if I want, uh, let's say, this one. This thing is stuck to this. See? So it's right about there. You see? And then when we talk about moment of inertia, the next question we'll ask is what's the moment of inertia of the baseball around that point? So that's why center of mass and moment of inertia they're tied. If we need if once we know how to get the center of mass, then we're gonna talk about how to get the moment of inertia. Then we'll talk about how to get the moment of inertia about the center of mass. Because when you throw it up in the air, Okay, what point does it rotate around? It rotates around the moment of inertia, right? So we want, uh, no, it rotates around the center of mass. So we want to know what is the moment of inertia of the object around its center of mass. When we, I rotate this up in the air, okay, okay, it rotates around its center of mass. So later on, I'm going to tell, talk, when we go to the moment of inertia, I'll talk about the different kinds of moment of inertia uh, and all that stuff. So now let's do two-dimensional object. 